Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you the latest working method to install the brand new Signer app, KSign, right on your iPhone or iPad, without a PC and without jailbreak. And yes, it works on iOS 15, 16, 17, and even the latest iOS 18.5. So let's get started. First open Safari, and then open Skibbity Tech website. I will put the website link in the description, then simply hit on download Skibbity, and then hit allow to download the profile in your iOS device. Now open setting, then open downloaded profile, and then hit install, and then hit install again to install downloaded profile in your iPhone or iPad. Now you will see Skibbity Tech app on your iOS device home screen. Now open the Skibbity Tech app. Now you will see KSign links on top. Simply hit on, get, on any one of the link, and then hit install to install KSign in your iPhone or iPad. Once KSign app is installed in your iPhone or iPad, now open setting, then open general, and then open VPN and device management. Then open enterprise app, and then hit trust, and then hit allow and restart to let KSign app work in your iOS device. After restart, now you will see that the KSign app will start working properly without any problem. Now open the Skibbity Tech app again. Then hit on the certificates, and then hit on Get on the top certificates link, and then simply save the cert zip file in your iPhone or iPad. Now open your files folder, and then hit on the cert zip file, and then you will have a new certs folder. Now open the KSign app and then hit on settings. Then scroll down and then hit on add certificate. Now hit on the plus sign and then hit on import KSign file. Now simply select the same name KSign file from the new certs folder in which you have used to install KSign app. And now we are good to use KSign app. Simply download the IPA file you want to install in your iPhone or iPad. Then open KSign app and then hit on the plus sign on top. Then hit on import from files and then select the IPA file you want to install in your iOS device. Now hit on your imported IPA file and then hit on import app. Now hit on library, then hit on your IPA file, and then hit on sign and install. Then hit on start signing. Now simply hit install to install your IPA file in your iPhone or iPad. And that's it, super easy, right? If you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe for more iOS tips and tricks, and let me know in the comments if you run into any issues, I'll help you out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.